So this morning we're out exploring a little bit more of Manila here in the Philippines and right now we're actually checking out the area that we're staying in which is the Makati area. It feels very local, very authentic so we're really looking forward to seeing what we can find here but the main goal for the day is to get to Old Manila and hopefully check out some markets, see what's happening around there and yeah just see what happens throughout the day. <laughs> We seem to have picked a really good area to be staying in. Everyone is really friendly, really nice, and it just feels really authentic here. So we have just stopped off for a wee bit of breakfast. We have ordered two caramel iced lattes, which we are very excited for, and we've also got a maple syrup and butter waffle. I'm getting really, really hungry. We've been walking around for quite some time now, and we actually were struggling to find somewhere to eat. We couldn't even find like just food on the side of the road or anything, but we found this wee coffee place. It looks really, really nice, and we're really looking forward to it. And it is tacky me on the side of the road, but it's very cute. This looks so, so good. Our caramel lattes come out first. They look so tasty. And then a maple syrup waffle. Ooh, look at that. So we cannot wait to get stuck in and see what this tastes like. Breakfast is served. <laughs> Forgot your water. So now that we're in the Philippines, they use the currency called peso and it's really, really big numbers and it's gonna take us a minute to get used to us. But our breakfast there now just cost us 265 peso. I think that was good. I'm not too sure. It's gonna take us a minute, but we're gonna go out and explore a little bit more of this area anyway. There's so many people on the back of their bikes selling different things like tea, juices, and it's just so cool, so, so authentic. And yeah, this has just been a really good experience. Good start to the day. Yeah, good start so far. <laughs> so these jeepneys that you can see behind us, and we actually got one in our other video the first day we got here, are just so crazy. They're like the main motor transport we think around here. They're like a full like homemade job, I think. So they're just mental, but we absolutely love them. We've got them a few times now, and I think we're probably gonna get them today again at some stage. There's so many wee like shops and stalls all the way down the street as well, and all the wee shops are very cool. They're all like out the front, like nearly wee shacks. They all have like grids nearly across them as well, and then it's like a wee hatch as if it's like a 24 hour can of at home. Very cool setup, a wee bit different. So we've really enjoyed walking around this area, but we're gonna make our way towards Manila city center now. We are planning to walk, and I think it's gonna take us around one hour. So this could be an activity in itself, but we're really excited to see what all we see. Yeah, and hopefully if we're walking for an hour, we're gonna see loads more of the city as well. So Manila so far has been pretty good. The heat here in the city is absolutely insane. It is literally so hot. We are both melting this day. So water is a necessity today. Yeah, we need to get as much water into this as possible because it's just so, so warm. <laughs> Okay, we have finally made it into the city. It took us maybe about an hour and 20 minutes to walk in and it wasn't too bad. And we feel like we have seen loads so far, but the actual city center here of Manila is absolutely crazy. It is so packed, so many people, so, so much traffic, and it is so, so loud as well. It is so loud everywhere. We actually haven't found one quiet bit of the city so far. So I don't know if you're gonna hear anything apart from traffic in the back of the end of this video, but we can't help it. There's just so much noise everywhere. Absolute madness, madness. <laughs> So, so far from what we can gather with Manila here, it is very, very overpopulated and overcrowded. There's so many people everywhere and there's also a lot of homeless people, a lot of people begging on the streets, a lot of people seem to be sleeping on the streets as well. It is very, very sad to see, but it is one of them things that comes with a big city that is overcrowded and overpopulated, that it just, I suppose, can't keep up with the amount of people that's here. Um, and it's just quite sad to see. But on the other side of that, you walk into this area where the National Museum is and it's completely different to what we've just walked through. It's really modern, really well looked after. So it really just depends on what part of the city that you're in. However, we are having a really good time just walking around and doing a bit of exploring and seeing what we can find. 
But yeah, just in general, it's not really initially what we thought it was going to be like straight off the bat. So we have seen so many of these accident prone signs and they're giving me such a laugh. But yeah, they're just letting you know that it's an accident prone area, I guess. Which seems to be everywhere. <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> Every person we've come across so far has been so, so friendly. They have all been so welcoming, smiling at us, saying hello, waving at us from across the street. And it's just been such a nice feeling. We've honestly felt so welcomed in the city here so far. Ready for the dangerous game of crossing the road? I don't know how we're gonna cross this road. It's kind of like a dark and go situation. <laughs> okay, ready? I think we go half and half this next bike. Oh, they're away. Friggin', let's go, let's go. Okay, friggin', let's just go. Let's go. with as many other people as possible yeah then you're less likely to get run over <laughs> we were watching a couple of the, like well i'm assuming locals anyway and they just walk out in the middle of the road and go like this and it's like stop and hope the car stops so yeah a couple of them did stop yeah. however one jeep there was refusing to stop yeah. so yeah it's a bit of a tricky situation we'll across the road we'll be careful <laughs> So we're still just walking around the city here, probably another hour has passed already, but we really just can't find any local food. We have got lost and distracted quite a few times along our way, but yeah, this is proven a lot more difficult than we thought it was going to be. We have finally found some markets down this wee street. We have no idea where we're at. We're close to where the map was taking us to, but we're going to go down here and hopefully pick up something anyway, because we are getting really, really hungry now. Fingers crossed we find something. Hopefully. <laughs> Okay, so we've just discovered that we are at the Kiapo Market, we think it's pronounced. I'm going to put the name of it here because I'm probably pronouncing that really, really badly. But yeah, we're actually struggling to find like food. It's all literally just like green garden products, a lot of like vegetables, a lot of like different things that aren't cooked right, eat, clothes, souvenirs and kind of, I don't even know how to describe it. It's just really strange, but this is our first Filipino market, so I don't know how to describe it. It's just different than every other market we've been to in like Malaysia and Thailand and so on. So yeah. It's nice to walk through, but I think we're definitely gonna have to pick up a snack or something <laughs> yeah. to keep us going. But we're really enjoying just walking around. Literally every street you walk down, there's like a different market happening. Yeah. So there's a lot to explore in this area. It is so, so busy too. You have to literally push and shove through everybody. So yeah, pretty cool though. So we only thought the power lines in Bangkok were crazy, but check these out. They are so mad the whole way through the city. How is that safe? We'll stay clear of them. <laughs> squid and fish balls with some really spicy sauce. They looked very appealing at the start. They were like the full of the glass, really big and like plump. And then when we put the sauce on, they kind of shriveled down into this. And we got some melon juice as well. So the juice is really good. Oh, geez. full of bits of melon too, but we haven't actually tried the fish balls yet or the squid balls. So these could be interesting, but I'm gonna give it a whack. You know what, they're pretty good. Yeah. We've had fish balls plenty of times before in Malaysia, but I wasn't a big fan of them, but they weren't like this. They were a lot paler. And the sauce is really, really good too, so. Yeah, they're wicked. Very happy with them. Boom. They're usually like harder. Yeah, they're pretty good. Yeah. Winner. <laughs> Juicy. So we have just picked ourselves up a couple of wee pastries here as well from the market but we have now left that area it was absolutely insane it just went on and on forever so many streets have just just stopped everything, yeah. people and everything yeah so we're gonna go find somewhere to sit down now and snack on these and then kind of explain a wee bit more about our day. Cheers. Cheers. So 
we've made our way out of the market and back over towards Manila City Centre and as you can tell it's got dark. dark. <laughs> <laughs> it's got very dark very quickly on us tonight yeah and yeah this evening in general just hasn't fully been what we expected it to be to be honest. We were walking around the market area and kind of as the evening went on and the, the more streets we went down the more poverty we've seen in the area, the more homeless people and people sleeping rough in the streets we came across. And every single time we went to like take out money to buy like a, a bit of food at the stalls or whatever it was, a drink, we were surrounded by little kids just begging looking for money and begging looking for food. And yeah, we didn't capture anywhere near as much, much of that yeah. market in the area as we had hoped because we felt like it just wasn't appropriate to have a camera out that these people around us you know truly had nothing and it just wasn't the time or place to take out a camera and start recording either so we do really hope that you've still yeah. enjoyed this video and we feel like we have still seen a lot of manila and we've Definitely really enjoyed our day today and it's just been such yeah. a a difference change, yeah, yeah especially from like the new manila that we were in the other day we just weren't really expecting to come across as much poverty as what we really have today yeah definitely the difference in the bgc area where we were at yesterday and this location where we're at today the market kind of area in around manila city and old manila it's it's just complete day and night in terms of the difference of what you see and what you get the new manila area is so built up so modern so clean so fresh and the side we were at today is pretty much the opposite of that, to be honest. Give or take some areas that are still lovely, but the areas we happened to stumble across today weren't, weren't that, to be honest. But yeah, overall, we still had a really good day out. We are really enjoying our time here in Manila. And we do want to see the good, the bad, and the ugly side of everywhere we go in our travels. And we want to share that as much as possible on this channel as well. And when appropriate. But, and when appropriate, yeah. And today, and the situation we were in at the market, we felt like it just wasn't appropriate to have the camera out. So, yeah, it's one of them. But we really hope that you've still enjoyed this video. We've still yeah. had a great day out. Definitely. And we would love it if you could hit that like button, comment, let us know if you've ever kind of been in a situation like this yourself. Yeah, we would love to know. Yeah, and if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel and follow us along on the rest of our adventures around the Philippines. Absolutely. We massively appreciate the support so, so much. So thank you so much for everything so far. And hopefully, yeah, you'll join us for much more of our Filipino adventure. See you later. Bye.